Hello everyone, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today I wanted to show you how to add an overhead text as you can see in that character. So that's the health level of that character as it get hit, it get reduced and he dies. So uh, eventually I will I will uh, improve this system into something like this uh, a health bar but this would be the first step all right let's get started all right so the first thing I want to do is uh, creating the UI component so actually I'm going to do this uh, I'm not just going to use this just for these characters I'm going to use this uh, for other stuff too like it can be other animals or other assets other resources uh, anything so therefore I'm going to implement in a more generic way so that uh, I can use to you uh, I can use it to attach to any object I need and display maybe the distance to that object or any other text attached to that object something like that or overhead dialogues man I don't know I may require many things okay <clears throat> so the first thing is I need a widget WDG Actor Actor Details Okay And for this I need A text box A text component Like this Well I'll, I'm not sure how does this works in the world space but uh, for now I'll place it like this and I'll make it centered like this okay and let's uh, see how we can attach this to our character so first thing is I don't need this on top of the my player character I only need this on top of the enemy characters so therefore I'll open this enemy blueprint and I'll add a widget Right, and then I think I can select that uh, widget I created here. Widget actor details. Okay, and if I make this screen space. Well, let's uh, let's play and see how it looks. Ah, uh, okay. So right, so it works. So the next thing I have to figure out is what I am going to display here. Right, I am going to display uh, the health of the character. So actually I need to implement it like this as in this Assassin's Creed games I need to di display the health bar uh, over the head of the enemy character like this but as for the first step I'm not going to add a bar I'm going to add a text just the text so I'll delete the default default text for now and then 
I'll set the pivot of this weight. I'll set the alignment into 0 0.5 so that this part will be directly overhead and also the Y to 1 like this and uh, okay that part is done now I have to connect this uh, widget and my character to update health details so how can I do that so for that I'll create a blueprint interface because I may you I may create more this type of widgets so that I can by implementing the same interface I can use any of these those widgets with my character without any issue so therefore I'll create a blueprint interface called PPI UI okay and as for the first function I'll add update details and for the input I'll add a string I let it test text right now I'll go to my widget and I'll add that interface as a Where can I add the interfaces? Right here. Okay, here I can add that interface VBI UI. And I now I should be able to implement that method. Set text no. Update text. Wait. What's the name again? Update details. I'll just name it update text oh, no details that's fine right now I need a reference to my this text so I'll rename it no hey this is the variable name txt details and I'll make it a variable like this so that I can access it here drag and drop get text details set text okay and I have to this has to be in text format this will automatically convert right okay so now I should be able to change the text of this widget from my character blueprint well actually I should have updated the health in my update health part but the problem is I have implemented this update health part in my character human class so but here but I added this widget only for this character enemy class so how can we solve that well, we can do it like this. So this is in a macro, right? Update health is in a macro. Yes. And where have we used it? 
on weapon hit right and do we have any delays here yes so I'll create a new event or a new method for all the actors in my character blueprint interface under well this should be update actor details right now I'll go back to my ch human character and actually I yes this is the way I'm gonna do it so in my player character the actor did update actor details would use to update the details of player character like left in the left lower corner or somewhere the health bar and other stuff and uh, for the enemy characters I'll use the update actor details to update the overhead health bar okay so first I'll in my update health method I'll call that update actor details like this and I will implement that method in ch enemy character ch enemy date actor details and then i'll get a reference of this one and get widget get user widget object and update details yeah like this and here I can access the health get health what was the maximum health I gave I can check it here health is 3 okay so I'll well for the moment instead of 3 I'll make it 10 because I need to be needed to be hundred and I'll multiply this by hundred and plug here so I should be able to write now it should be hundred no oh, I should in. let's check again Okay, right. Update details. Well, this must be ten, not hundred. And also, I should add update actor details node at the begin play as well because. Uh, otherwise there will be no text at first okay this seems a little big and yeah still it is not updating so let's check what the issue is okay so well I have this uh, target as the ch human details interface yeah let's do a interface call instead it's still not happening okay okay so as a quick fix I'll call update actor details in my tick and let's see yes 
Yes, but as you can see, uh, you can see the number is reducing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so that's all I wanted to show you today. And uh, in the next coming episodes, let's improve the system into something like this. Alright, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.